W -w 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 Welcome to my 15th Wild Watches video. Today, I will be talking about the movies I watched in the month of March 2017. I shall talk about them individually starting now. The first movie I watched was King Kong Lives. The 1986 sequel to the 1976 remake of a 1933 film. This movie is the worst con film, but it is still entertaining. There's a lot of bad qualities to it, it's generic as hell, but I still have fun watching it from time to time. It even left room for a sequel that, of course, never happened, and I'm kind of glad it didn't. The second movie I watched was... Damio Omentu. I had just finished reading the book when I watched this movie. It's a decent sequel. Not as good as the first. It's definitely amped up the body counts and gore level, and it's still a really interesting, disturbing film. Now, the whole thing with Damien discovering he is the Antichrist and being completely shocked is a little bit weird. He seemed to be in control of his abilities in the first film. But that wouldn't leave room for the audience to feel bad for him, which lasts for about maybe 10-15 minutes, then he's the Antichrist he's born to be. The third movie I watched was HERCULES! The 2014 action-packed, super fun, enjoyable, highly entertaining, bloody movie that was originally PG-13, but I watched the unrated cut. Damn! I love all the creatures, but they're all in the beginning, which kind of sucked. But Dwayne The Rock Johnson plays a really good Hercules. The characters were fun and memorable. They were distinguishable, and you could tell they were having a blast while making this movie. The fourth film I watched was in theaters. Kong! Skull Island! This is easily my second favorite King Kong movie. I read the book. The book is even better. But Kong! Skull Island is a lot better than most people give it credit for. It's beautiful action-packed, and a somewhat character-driven story. Depending on how much you can pick apart the characters, which not all of them have development, but most of them do. The fifth movie I watched was Death Race 2000. This Roger Corman-produced, David Carradine-starring action film is just fun. It is 78 minutes of pure adrenaline. It has a lot of social satire. And I love this movie. I didn't expect to, that's the funny part. It's cheesy in all the right ways. The sixth movie I watched was John Wick. I watched this with my dad. He saw the part where the dog got killed and he was like, okay, that's enough. Then when the movie was over, he was like, okay, that was better than I thought it would be. And it is a superb movie. Filled to the brim with action, blood, and steady cam. The seventh movie I watched was Lake Placid. I've always loved this movie, ever since I was a wee child. It's a great fun time. The characters are likable, the humor is spot on, the animatronic and CG crocodile is excellent. I recommend this to any Creature Feature fan. The eighth movie I watched was with everybody. My mom, my dad, my brother, Train to Busa. Now, my brother, my father, laughed at the dubbing. I was like, shut the fuck up. My mom was like, that was sad. I had to agree with her more. I cried when I first watched this movie. It's a powerful, heart-filled, action-packed, devastating zombie movie that takes place entirely on a train. The ninth movie I watched was Sabretooth. I have an announcement to make. This was the first movie in my collection that I owned on DVD. I got to this for Christmas when I was about 10 or 11 years old, and I've been collecting and collecting ever since. Sabretooth is a bad movie, but it's still a good movie. You can tell they tried, and the animatronic Sabretooth is very threatening, while the CGI is... That. But I really do love Sabretooth. The supposed spinoff or sequel, Attack of the Sabretooth, is not as good as this one, but it is definitely gorier. The tenth movie I watched was King Kong, the 2005 remake of the 1933 Marvel. 
Now, this is my favorite King Kong movie. And for good reason! Which you can find in my reviews and Decades of a Decay series ranking video for this. Right, for all the King Kong movies. The eleventh movie I watched was Independence Day Resurgence. This was better than I thought it would be. Everyone hates this movie. I kind of enjoyed it. It was it was about as enjoyable as the first one, and I think by this point people are fed up with Roland Emmerich, but I see the first one in this one a lot, and it is quite different than the first. There's some cool twists, big epic set pieces, and a lot of cool CGI moments. The twelfth movie I watched was Fear of Clowns. Now I had this and the sequel planned to be reviewed on April 1st. That didn't happen. But I have reviews written for them which will come up next year on April 1st. I love this indie movie. It hits all the right beats. It's kind of bloody. There's a cool clown, cool plot, decent acting, pretty bad actually. Characters that I care about and it's just that. A decent killer clown movie. The thirteenth movie I watched was Fear of Clowns 2. Wow. This is an improvement on every level. The first was decent. This is awesome. For a low-budget indie movie, I was surprised at how much effects they got in there. All the decapitations and it's just a fun time. And those are it. Those are the 13 movies I watched in the month of March 2017. And as always, Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and to leave comments and subscribe.